My low, my low, um, <laughs> hey. my lowdown 2017. What's good, everybody? Welcome to a new video. I'm gonna show you my loadout for 2017. I've been trying around a good amount of skins. Not that much has changed to the 2016 loadout, but these are the skins that I wanna or will play with in 2017. I've tried a couple of new knives as well, but I've stuck with one of them, and this is gonna be my baby moving forward. Not actually counting in if there's going to be any kind of new skins or any kind of new cases, any kind of new knives. So if there's a new case with a new knife or new knife finishes, I might just use one of the new ones. But for now, this is how it will look like. Kind of got really cold in here. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot to put the heating up. Anyway, <laughs> this is how my loadout is looking like right now. You can see it all on the screen. I actually like how it's fitting perfectly now with the graffiti into one page. We're gonna go from the most uninteresting to the most interesting skins. Most uninteresting, I guess. No, not even. A fan donated me this little heart, Princess Pink graffiti. So I decided to use it. I actually think it's pretty cute. <laughs> so I decided to use this graffiti, the little heart, the princess pink. I'm not sure if you can actually count it to a loadout, but it is the equipped. The gold cologne 2014 Pick'em Trophy, one that is that I'm very, very proud of. Jeff. Hey, sorry. I was streaming, just ended a stream. Interrupts the video production. Here's someone cologne 2014, the Pick'em Trophy, one that I'm very, very proud of because not many people have that. That is the event where NIP won the major. I kind of went with the gut feeling that they will win it in the end, and I always bet on NIP netting me the gold trophy for that one event. After that, the Pick'em, I completely failed at all of these Pick'em challenges. I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah? I got the bronze ones, I got twice the silver ones, and all these kinds of things. I'm very proud. This is my gold Pick'em Trophy. Loving it. Most of my skins have a little background story. Now we have this Max 7 Hazard. That was one of my very first drops in Counter-Strike. I kept it still till today, a minimal wear one, and it has a nice little ESL1 sticker on it. And I think, if I'm not 100% mistaken, this one is actually from Katowice 2014. Still, I didn't know how much they're gonna be worth there, but yeah. It still has that little ESL sticker on it. We have a Souvenir Amber Fade Sword of Shotgun Factory New from the DreamHack 2013 Championship, the first ever major dropped in the grand final between Fnatic and Ninjas in Pyjamas. I still kept that one as well. It's one of my very first Souvenir drops. Not gonna lie, I got a little bit more than one that event, but still. The Souvenir Negev Nuclear Waste. As you can already see, there's a little pattern in my entire inventory. Or most of the guns that are not like the entire high tier category like most of these negatives the secondary guns that you do not use that much i have these souvenir skins for them the esl1 envy lgb katowice 2015 again a drop the nuclear waste esl1 katowice 2015 between envy and lgb not really the prettiest skin there is out there but it's a drop that i got so you know i kept it i'm not playing the negev as a main gun so why not just use that once i pull it out my little souvenir Nova Walnut. East One Cologne 2015 Nip Renegades. And another drop. I'm not gonna lie, I bought this though, because I think it's pretty cool. The Walnut has a solid look to it. And it is signed by Forrest, so you know. I had I I, ju I just got that off the market. It's not it's not valued that high. But it, I, I loved it. It's one of the first ones where the signatures came out. And this is where the pattern kind of begun. After this event, the signatures started. The signatures started at the Easter One Clone 2015, if I recall it right. Now, inclusion of poker, I decided to renew my inventory a little bit. Like, I got all of these in souvenir with the signature stickers on it from Dream Occlusion of Poker. With a few of my favorite players, of, most of them are obviously the Nip players, or back in the day the Nip players. The Radiation Hazard, the Souvenir Orc from Aldu against Envy. One that I'm very proud of is the Souvenir Galil AR Cerberus Factory New, also Dream Occlusion of Poker. From Nico, Mouse Sports vs G2, the Souvenir Famas Sticks from Xist. 
Nip versus Envy again, a drop in Factory New, that is. The Souvenir MP9 Hot Rod, also signed by Apex. The Souvenir Tech 9 Toxic, signed by Dennis in Factory New. I didn't really want to go for the super high value. That means I've left out the nuclear threat, the nuclear threat, the green Tech 9 that is. It's actually, I think, the most valuable gun that you could get on the Tech 9 in Souvenir. But I still feel like the Toxic Tech 9 looks better. Yes, I know, insert bad Toxic joke here about me getting tilt, but you know. It actually does look good. I like it. Continuing the other guns, I got the Dual Bratus Anodized Navi ISO 1 Caravita 2015 Fnatic versus Nip. The grand final, nice dual berettas right there. We got the Souvenir Scar 20 Sand Mesh and the Desert Storm, both auto snipers for the CT and the T side. Both of them ESL 1 Katowice 2015 against TSM, Nip versus TSM. Yeah, you can already see. I've got a lot of Souvenir and I got a lot of stickers that came with NIP because I've been working for them. I decided to never really change them up and I don't really see a reason right now. The PP Bison, I got the Campbell Green as well, Nip versus Fnatic. A lot of people gifted me souvenirs from these events, like lower tier souvenirs, not like Cobblestone, but these $1 souvenir dropped from NIP games because I've been working for them. And they said, hey dude, you work for Nip, just yo, go for it, open it up, and yeah. So so these really old souvenirs are not only souvenirs because I've got them dropped or because I've kind of opened them myself or something like that. They're also souvenirs from people that sent me these. So they kind of gifts to me. So I kept them, all of them. And I'm still using them to play right now. So two years later, still embracing them, you know? The Mac-10 Amber Fade, another gun I've got dropped. The Urban Hazard's also got a background story to it. I've never really had an MP7. I've been streaming for the couple of, I think it's like the first or the second time that I was streaming. And the guy gifted me that MP7 because he said, hey, yo, you don't have MP7s, so can go for it. It's not expensive at all, but it's again, it's a gift. So I kept it. UMP Blaze is one of the very early ones I've acquired. Kept it also for like two or three years. W what I would love in the game isn't kind of an inventory thing. How long has this gun been in your inventory? If there's a way to find that out, I would really like to know that, guys. 5.7 Monkey Business. I bought that one the first day it came out. I still got it today. The P250 Cartel. I bought that one as well the day it came out. Still got it today. I think I bought that one for like $40 in Factory New. I'm not even kidding. If it just came out and I really wanted to have that, still kept it till today. The P90 Trigon, the face hit skin, is the same. Came out. I instantly wanted to have it. And I still kept it till today. And now we're getting to the two drops that I got in the first months after the Arm Steel update got released that are really high up right now. For one, we have the Desert Eagle Blade. I got that one dropped. I renamed it to Fire Deagle back in the day already, which means kind of Fire Deagle. It's just an inside joke between me and a couple of friends. It has a Katowice 2014 stick on it. So this, this gun is kind of my little precious. It's a drop. It has my Katowice sticker on it. And kind of at the same time, I think in between a week or two, I got this Glock Fade dropped with the ESO 1 Katowice 2014 sticker as well. The Wolf. I put that one at the top right there because I got the Wolf in the first capsule. Glock Fade. Deagle Blaze, my two babies. They're worth a lot right now, comparison to back in the day. Back in the day, you got like a Glock Fate for $5 and a Blaze for like, what, two or three? I kept those drops. And now we're getting to the big guns. We've had the P2000 Fire Elemental. I'm always struggling between the Kill Confirmed and the P2000 Fire Elemental. I've ultimately decided to use the P2000. Why? It has more bullets. It does have a little bit less accuracy, but that doesn't really do anything for me because if my aim is on point my aim is on point and most of the time it's not so i just need more bullets i just need that kind of little more clips more bullets a little bit of more damage that's what i need so i'm not the i'm not necessarily forest with the pistol or like i'm not necessarily screen that can, can just like one tap people all around so i decided to go with that i also bought this one back in the day the wasteland rebel factory knew it is i don't really care much about stat track especially when it comes to an ak skin because i kind of switch those sometimes around or what not this is the one that i've kept though i love the wasteland rebel wasteland rebel is my thing to go going to the going to the free really high tier skins in my inventory again this one's not sad track it's a factory new one though it has a couple of scratches but you know it's something that i'm not looking on towards i just wanted to have it in factory new the m44 howl at the day where the howl got contraband i actually went ahead and traded a howl for a cyrex because I wanted to play with the Silence M4, the Cyrex. And yeah, then like a couple of hours after, stuff spiked up and I'm like, are you serious? M4 for how my CE side choice with the M4. Again, more bullets. I need that, guys. I'm sorry. I can't aim that well.
especially now with rifles. The double AWP loadout on the T side, we have the infamous Draglor. No, I didn't get it dropped. No, there's no background story to it. I actually just bought that. Um, I think I traded it. Did I buy or trade it? I'm not entirely sure. Well, it's kind of the same thing. But I've acquired that. I didn't get it dropped or anything like that. I just wanted to have that skin. So yeah, I went ahead. I just seen that all of the graphical settings were kind of on low because I've just recorded a config video. Great. But you're going to have in the end, you're going to have a proper showcase of all of the skins in super high quality. I'm oh, sorry, I fucked it up earlier, but I totally, I just seen it on, on the Dragon Lore when I was watching it. I was like, God damn it, this gun looks shitty. Anyway, T side loadout, Dragon Lore. I didn't get it dropped or anything like that. No real background story to it. I just love it. It's the kind of op of choice that has something special to it. In comparison to all the other op skins, it's just like, you know, I had to have it. CT side. Why? Yeah, well, Medusa, Blue, Factory New. This is one of the guns that I've actually gotten in the trade-up with on screen at ESL1 Cologne 2016. Still kept that one as a CT side gun. And now to top it all off, my little king of pirates. It's a one piece reference in case you're wondering, actually. So a lot of people are always asking me, hey, what is that name tag? What is that about? It's about one piece, as simple as that. I love watching that. The Ruby Flip Knife. Why flip? I just like it. Ruby, no sapphire, no gamma doppler as in an emerald. I don't know. The color red just suits the knife in the game somewhat. I just prefer the ruby over all the others. And this is the one knife that I'm going to keep. I hope you enjoyed this little background story to my loadout because I've, I've, I've got kind of a background story to nearly all of the skins. Most of the skins are either gifts, drops, or things that I acquired very early, and some of them really have meaning for me. I kind of connect them either to fans or to other people or to regular stream viewers or to players or anything like that. So they kind of, my loadout has a little bit of meaning with my background story in Counter-Strike Global Offensive that I've been working so much in. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that a little bit. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you keep enjoying the little showcase now in the game how all the skins look like and we're going to see each other in another video thank you very much for watching everybody